Hey guys, this is Dipu. Feeling a little weird coming to you guys like this, but I couldn't stay any longer without seeing you guys. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. I got this laptop from a senior brother who wasn't using it for 6 to 7 years because he broke the laptop chassis and the display was dangling. It's a 14 inch 720p display. This computer has Core 2 Duo T5800 processor which is a dual core processor running at 2 GHz. Also the hard disk and battery was dead and it had only 1 GB of DDR2 RAM. So it was totally worthless to him. I went to his house and he gave me two of his broken laptop and told me to see if I can fix them and make them somewhat useful. I was very excited because I love fixing old computers. I tested both of them and this one showed some life and I told him I will see if I can fix it or not. For a few days, almost a week, I wasn't able to make some time to fix this laptop. But when I did, it wasn't working. I tried different charging adapters, but it was not working. When I dug deep into the matter, I found out that the motherboard power connection wires were loose and the adapter power capacitor was not working properly. I had to solder the wires and left the laptop connected to the charger overnight, hopefully it will fix the capacitor power issues. In my 13 years of experience, I had seen many cases like this when this tactic worked and this time here it wasn't an exception to that. The laptop finally posted but the display was flickering a lot. I went to the seller's house and offered him 1000 taka or 12 US dollars for the laptop because I was not sure I can fix it or not and if I try to fix it, it might become dead. So I just wanted to make sure that he has no problem if it becomes dead. He took the offer and I paid him 1000 taka then came back and opened the laptop and to fix all of its component from the ground up. There is some before pictures of the laptop and as you guys can see the display panel is almost disconnected from the body and it's almost unfoldable. Let's disassemble. When I disassembled the laptop, I found out there were a lot of problems that were not visible from outside. It was a good home for a lot of cockroaches and they laid their eggs on top of many important components of the laptop and not to mention the poops. So the first thing I did is to clean up the laptop from inside out using some brush and isopropyl alcohol. It was looking quite good after the cleanup. I found out most of the screw holes of the chassis were broken. To make the laptop fit together, I had to make the screw holes using some plastic by melting it to the 
screen spot. It might not look pretty inside, but surely helps a lot to bind the parts together. Then I moved to the display section. It was bad, very bad. The display tilting mechanism was broken in half and had some missing screws inside. Strange, because the seller told me it was not repaired before. So I had to do some careful soldering to fix the metal together and it worked like a charm. I had to buy a new display ribbon cable for the display as the old cable was torn in some places. I also had to make some screw holes here and there to assemble the display together. I used some melted plastic to make the missing body parts and now it was quite ignorable. You have to look very closely to find where I did the fix ups. Now let's put together the laptop and pray and hope it works. As it has only 1GB of RAM, I am going to use another 2GB of DDR2 1666MHz RAM stick to make it to 3GB. Because nowadays to run any modern operating system, you need at least 2GB of RAM. I am going to use a 32GB SSD which I used in my $20 retro gaming PC build. If you haven't seen that video, you can click right here. The reading and writing speed of the SSD is about 250 megabyte, even though it was not that fast, but it was better than any hard disk that you could use in this system. We are even stuck to SATA 2 bandwidth, so it was a good decision. I wanted to use Windows 10 on this laptop, but for some reason, it was not working well. There were hiccups. Maybe because the Windows 10 required more space and there might be some driver issue. But for now, I am going to use some other operating system from Linux, which can give me some good performance with this hardware for now. I am planning to buy a 120GB SSD later with a caddy and 2.5 inch hard disk for extra storage. Because who needs a DVD drive in 2021? anyway right everything is fixed everything is working but there is some problem with the cooling fan the bearing of the cooling fan failed and it was making a lot of noise it feels like two stroke engine under my hand but it's working so I'm going to keep it like that I'm going to fix it in the next time I open it for cleaning it's smooth and there is no sound so I had to open the laptop again to fix them. Now the question is how good does it work or is it usable? Of course, the performance is very good. I am using Jorin OS which is a Linux distribution from Ubuntu Linux. Has support for all the components. You don't have to install any drivers because it has all the drivers it needs inside the package. You are not going to play any latest games on this device. Let's face it, it's weak. If I install Windows, I could play some old games. But Linux has improved its gaming a lot than before. So I am going to try playing games anyway. I have installed PPSSPP and loaded some games and it works like a charm. You can play most games at around 60 FPS if you don't mind low graphics but if you want to play at 2x PSP resolution you can play most games at locked 60 FPS without much trouble you can also install Steam and play Steam games if they support Linux kernels there are also a lot of emulators that you can run on this PC like PS2, MAME, Game Boy, NES emulators playing these games on this laptop is a lot of fun and I am planning to install Laka OS, which is a Linux distro built around RetroArch to make this laptop a gaming console with a display. Wow, I can feel it. It's gonna be so good. In conclusion, this laptop is awesome. It can run 1080p YouTube videos without breaking a sweat. 1440p is also doable, but it will lose some frames while playing 1440p videos. You can use it for online streaming like Netflix, Hulu, Twitch without any problem. 
as it's a $12 laptop, what you can achieve with it is awesome. So it was a good decision to fix this laptop. So guys, that was all for today. Don't forget to like if you like this video and comment down below. Also, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and ring the bell icon. See you guys in the next one. Ah. Ah. Oh, ho, ho, ho.